when is the best time to prune my tree or when is the best time to prune trees? Hey guys, my name is Mark Russell, 770 Arborist. I don't want to answer that question for you today. It's getting toward the end of summer and it's actually starting to get to the time when trees are about to go into dormant season and the short answer is it's coming up. It's time to start thinking about pruning your trees and we're going to talk about the top four reasons. Okay, so first off, the best time to prune trees is from fall, uh, the beginning of fall, till the beginning of spring. And that is known as the tree's dormant season. It's when the leaves fall off, the tree kind of shuts down, movement of the sap kind of slows down, and the tree is not photosynthesizing. It's not doing a whole lot. It's doing a little bit. We're going to get into the top four reasons. Number one, less bugs. So when it's hot in the summer, lots of bugs are out. And when you make those pruning cuts on that tree, it's like ding, 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 dinner bell, hello bugs, I got a great free meal for you. Uh, case in point, you take a piece of steak, you throw it out on the driveway, and you know you're going to have flies really quick. The same way, when you make those cuts on that tree, when there are lots of bugs out, uh, it's just bringing them in. They bring with them pathogens, fungus, bacteria, or they lay eggs in your tree. That's just no good. Number two. It gives the cuts time to dry during the winter when there are no bugs so that when the bugs come around, it's less attractive meal for them. That's pretty self-explanatory. Number three, number three is, oh, full ROI. Oh my gosh, did a tree guy just use an investment term? Yes, I used to be a stockbroker actually. So full return on investment for the, in, uh, for the resources that the tree allocated to produce the leaves. So the bottom line is a lot of arbor culture is um, just helping the tree to allocate its resources in different ways. And when the tree invests energy to create a leaf, it needs to get and photosynthesize and get all the energy back from that investment. When you prune at the end of the uh, season, rather than in the middle of the photosynthesis season, you get the best ROI possible. And number four, and that would be, oh, the best amount of pruning possible or the best amount of healing. I said pruning, but I meant healing possible. So if you've ever looked at growth rings on a tree, you might've noticed that the white portion of the rings are bigger typically than the, the darker areas. And that's what I was talking about earlier in the video that the tree does have a little bit of movement in the winter. That's the thin, dark areas of growth, very uh, compact, dense cells. But then the white areas are known as the spring flush. It's when the tree goes into active mode and starts pushing out to start growing leaves. So the bottom line is this. You want to make that cut during the dormant season so that when the tree goes to, ah, I'm going to start growing, it's healing the cut and not creating leaves that'll get cut off. That is optimal for healing for your tree. And those are the top four reasons. Okay, guys. Hey, my name is Mark Russell. 770 Arborist is the company. I'm ISA certified, tree risk assessment qualified. If you have any questions about your tree, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help you if I can. Our number is our name, 770 Arborist. We've been in Atlanta since 1997 doing trees. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.